Hi Aquarius, welcome to your monthly readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. I'll still be offering until mid-January the possibility of having uh, the 2019 sneak peek reading. So if you would like to know more details about that special offer or any other of my tarot services, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below, and as well my Facebook and Instagram page. So, Aquarius, I do feel like some of you are kind of this, um, you know, back and forward kind of mo motion all around uh, the month, uh, specifically in, t in terms of feeling hopeful feeling positive, feeling inspired, feeling uh, that everything will be okay, and then maybe relapsing into a more negative mind state where you, you are not so hopeful or you are not so, you know, in that harmony energy, in that peaceful vibe that allows you to just flow with the process, trust the process, and trust whatever it's um, coming for you. Because... I feel like some of you are in this uh, energy of conflict between hope and lack of hope due to the fact that, um, you know, you're dealing with something that's in the dark, you're dealing with something that is uh, kind of a 50-50 indeed um, chance of working out or not working out. Some of you, this is about the dreams you have, the things you want to do in life, the things you want to accomplish, the things you want to create and I feel like some of you that pulse of creation during the month is actually where you are going to be given or feeling uh, strongly more about because I feel like some of you are going to take a new approach or just you know a different turn into something you have been trying to do that is going to be you know, much more rewarding, I feel, for some of you in terms of the creative satisfaction that you take out of the situation. And so by being creatively satisfied, I feel like you will also feel much more, um, you know, hopeful and positively um, inspired to keep doing whatever you are doing aside of the possible results of not working. I think that some of you need more time to compose yourselves, to balance yourselves, to balance even what you're trying to do, being a creative project, being uh, fixing or healing yourself, a relationship, finding the perfect place for something, traveling, whatever you want to do, you want to do something that feels like it's going to change significantly how your life has been, as you have the Ace of Wands and the Three of Wands. So some of you, it's about the future. You want to reach something. You want to conquer something. You want to go somewhere. You want to feel alive. You want to feel that things are, again, working and progressing in the right way. And being that you have the Three of Wands and the Temperance card here, January might still ask a little bit of patience, a little bit of, um, you know, calm with what you're dealing with because it's a delicate process. It takes its time, but you are seeing somehow here the pictures of that bright future. So some of you are actually having image, images somehow being shown to you. It could be through your meditations. It could be through, um, you know, your dreams. Um, some of you have this real vision of what that bright future could be. And you want to manifest from that vision, and you will be. But things are taking more time for some of you than what you would like. And you are afraid of the tower because this is what your conscious position has. So you're afraid of things falling apart, things not working, things, you know, being just that process of trying and, per se, failing. 
Um, I do not feel as you, that at all that's um, what you're dealing with here, being that as you go into February, your month, you will feel much more better. You will feel much better about what what you're doing and about yourself. So it's a matter of trusting the timing um, here. I also feel like some of you need more sleep. You need more, you know, more rest, uh, more tranquility, more contact with nature, more contact with things that are healing and soothing to you. You know, the elements of uh, nature are really showing up significantly as uh, having a very strong effect, positive one, in you. Like, understanding that just as... Um, Things in nature take their time to unfold. So are you or the things as an extension from you that you want to manifest and achieve in life. For others of you, though, it's just um, a matter of clearing the air, clearing the negative, um, you know, imprints that you still that still hold power over you quite a lot, actually. For some of you. Things are much better than what they look, because it's your the perception, the perception that you're having into them is maybe the worst one or very anxious one. So it's like I feel like some of you are really like having some sort of, you know, let's say a moment in January where you might be having a, a some sort of breakdown or a crisis, you know, that is. It's momentary, uh, momentary uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just in the moment, let's say, that happens. It's just an episode, let's say. Um, but it could be so strong, whatever the feeling you have in that breakdown or in that period of um, disruption. It could be a, a, such a strong feeling that awakens in you, you know, again, um, something that needs to be released from you. So the impact of how you might, of how a certain negative energies might affect you, are a product or um, a result from something that actually is just wanting to be cleared from you, shaken out from you. Others of you are going to have a wake-up call in the other side, are going to be shaken up or have a situation that you're not planning happening that actually it's going to be a shake-up for the best in terms of um, opening your eyes to uh, the reality that surrounds you and the promise of what the future could bring to you. So some of you that are very paranoid, I feel like some Aquarius are quite paranoid for some reason in January, just not feeling steady, not feeling, um, you know, calm, at peace with how things are and that can be giving you again a lot of um, unwanted um, it's like unwanted internal experiences where you are just again having moments where you could be dealing some of you could be dealing again with panic attacks or terror you know terror that um, is shown as being very self-inflicted by Maybe the way you are obsessing over this, over the tower. Some of you need to break free from something. An addiction of some sort, a pattern, a habit, a relationship. Something needs to be indeed freed. We need to be freed from this so that you can find ultimately that bright destiny that you long for. And I think that... Again, it's a very unstable but um, intense, it's a very unstable and intense month for some of you, but it's like immediate. There's immediate notions that are coming with like flashes to you. So um, that's why it's so important for you to find your point of balance because what you're dealing with is touching extremes so there are days where you can feel the best and then right away feel the worst and vice versa there's a, a, there's this notion of just needing <laughs> to hold tight to your core to your selves to you know ride the storm whatever the storm is let it pass because it will pass things will go 
I think that you will like more the the last weeks of January than the initial initial ones. I feel like as the energies shift into Aquarius, as they shift and progress into next month as well, you will leave behind whatever this drama is, this problem is, this crisis is. You will focus in the future. You will focus in changing things around, in being active, in actively being pursuing again the things you want. I feel like some of you, there's such an immense power with you. It's and it's so there's it's so powerful that you don't know how to handle it. It could also be that it could be that maybe you're dealing with emotions, right? With experiences, with situations, with anything that it's so um, you know new for you due to what is coming out of it, the feelings you are experiencing. Um, that you're unfamiliar with it, and so this um, it's like you're always on the verge, right, on the limit, due to the experiences that you're dealing with asking you to be in that limit. So some of you, <laughs> it, it's it's um it's 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 very important that you prioritize your um your mental and emotional well-being during this month so that you don't um, go through whatever those intense experiences are in such a panicking or nervous form where you can hinder that bright path or hinder yourself, the things that you are um, setting yourself to do. I think that some of you, it's about just waiting for the right time for something to happen, you know, waiting for the right sign, the right person, the right, you know, um, information, contact, opportunity to arise. And it's like you're ready. I feel like some of you are also, also as the month unfolds, there's this readiness to what's coming next, like this real sense of I'm done with whatever was before I'm just going to leap completely into the new, into taking chances. And I feel like some of you will actually take um, very interesting uh, risks and opportunities ahead. They are going to make a difference. And I feel like some of you are also looking for that, the, the need to make a difference, an impact of some sort, the, wanting the message, wanting the knowledge, wanting what you are about to be put out there and the energy with you is so again high and intense that sometimes it just can be um you know it can cause somehow collateral damage due to its intensity but i feel like you will recover from whatever again shakes shake ups you might indeed deal with so i hope you have a great month thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon.